In this video, I'm going to show you a really effective concept for beating man-to-man at -man a trips tight end. I'm also going to show you a really simple way that you can kind of pair two concepts together, if you will, and um, and we'll get into the video here in just a second. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. Also, if you want to get access to my full trips tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up for the Patreon, and by becoming a Patreon member, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defense defensive ebook so if you want to sign up for that the link to do so is in the description the play we're going to be taking a look at today is we are going to be looking at um, we're going to be looking at the play uh, let me find it here drive post drive post it's one of my favorite plays in the game and uh, we're going to show you how to run it against man to man so all we're going to do here is we are going to uh, it's actually fairly simple so what I like to do with this play is we're going to basically put our uh, tight end on an out route we're going to block our running back and then what i like to do here is we're going to motion mike evans across and we're going to put him on a slant and then we're going to c route this number two receiver with hot route master or wide receiver apprentice so if i have calvin johnson there and mutt um, this c route is really good it's actually better than the outside c route from my opinion um the what's so good about this c route couple things the first thing that's really good about it is obviously it cooks man, which we'll show you. So again, as soon as I motion that number one receiver, I'm putting that dude on the C route. And what you'll see here is I can basically freeform outside and that's gonna be wide open as you can see. So I have the ability to beat man. That's one of the really good valuable reasons. Another thing that I wanna show real quick is let's say they take their man coverage and they turn it into a cover three. What you're gonna notice here is if I do these adjustments, the third is going to follow Mike Evans, right? So there's, there's now no third on the left, and I can still throw this. It makes it hard for these outside thirds to be able to play this 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 uh, this route. So they're going to have to. I mean, there's a lot of adjustments they're going to have to make to be able to stop it. In essence, what they're really going to have to probably do is, is shift to zone, um, and then from there we have a couple things we can do. We can do something like this if we want to. This is not a bad concept here by any means. You could do something like this. Um, if you're worried about the zone, it's a little better uh, because the post is gonna get over every zone of the game, as you can see right there, real simple. Uh, or we could do kind of a fade out concept where we're gonna out the tight end and then we're going to fade or streak Mike Evans. Streak is obviously the best route in the game this year, so you want to have at least one streak on every play. Um, as soon as the corner kind of turns his hips, we can obviously try to ag over the top until they fix that, which who knows if they will. Um, but, you know, you have that as well. So, you know, there's a lot you can do with this play. This is a great little setup right here. This is essentially shallow cross. Uh, if you think about how it actually works, this tight end uh, or this post route, in my opinion, is the best man beating route in the game. It, it's very consistent at getting a separation um, against man to man. So we want to definitely maximize that as well. So the rest of the play, honestly, you can kind of you know change it up. So this is a great route combo too. If you want to send five out, you have this quick throw to the out route, but you also have this back coming underneath the the play. That can be a pretty simple and effective man beater as well. So you have a lot of value in this play, a lot of things you can do uh, with the play. Now, this is going to force them to basically get into some type of zone look. And that's the only way they're going to be able to stop uh, the C route. You know, the only way they're going to really truly be able to stop the C route is to go to a zone look. And then this is where you want to work your high low between Godwin and your tight end. Okay. Now, another setup, I'm going to give you one more setup that I like out of this. This is, a, like I said, a very versatile play. Um, we can slant. If we want to use our tight end streak, we can slant Mike Evans' backside. So now you're going to have this tight end streak. So if you have a one-on-one, -on -one, you can try to ag that one-on-one -on -one streak. Or you have the post or the C route again. The C route is really just valuable, again, because if they run man-to-man, -man, it's going to be really hard for them to be in a good man defense against this play. Uh, man's going to really struggle against this because look how wide open he is. The, the, the dude gets bumped up. It's really hard for them to play man to man. Um, a lot of people, it's actually really significantly easier to defend the C route if it comes from the number uh, two player. So by bringing it from the or from the number uh, one receiver, but by bringing it from the number two receiver, you see how open this is. I mean, it's literally wide open. So. 
it just forces them out of man. And whenever you force, whenever you can force someone out of man, and if you got you think about it, like this look right here. There's a lot of things we can do to beat zone, right? We can run a corner route to the right at a PA corner. We can do, uh, I mean, we can do a lot of things to be able to, to to mess with zone coverage. But the main thing is getting them out of man coverage. So that's what makes this so so good. All right. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook. Make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Just ten dollars to get you access to all ebooks and all updates to those ebooks. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.